Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Shaq Central. I'm hoping I can do this all in one take, just kind of throw it in unedited uh, as I'm doing this on my lunch break. But I wanted to give a very quick, uh, very just kind of pre, um, pre-scourge reveal uh, preview of where we've gotten to in the cold app builds, both for the SSF and the low life version. Uh, if you haven't ever stopped by um, to my stream, we've been doing a ton of work just kind of as a cold dot community. Um, kind of repurposing these builds, figuring them out for potential changes in 316. I love it if you stopped by. There's just a lot of good stuff, um, especially for cold that builds and for you know hint hint uh, future builds uh, going on on the stream. So you know, stop by uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday around 8:30 to 9 uh, Eastern Standard Time is about when I usually get started in the evening. Um, but I wanted to Not show these. Too shabby. <laughs> Incredible timing. I'm leaving that in. Uh, I forgot to turn alerts off, so I'm getting Twitch followers while I'm recording. But uh, what I wanted to show is that we just kind of have been able to retool these and get them to a place where both for the SSF versions and the hardcore versions, I'm really happy with them, um, at least before we see the passive tree changes. So that is kind of the big caveat here is just to note, this is a very early preview. These uh, POBs, both for SSF and low life, they will change. We do not have the final trees yet. Um, we're particularly waiting to see how this area develops in terms of new nodes and potentially the new divine shield uh, keystone. So this is more just kind of a proof of concept. Um, and if you want to look at the changes, if you use either of these POBs, the changes are actually highlighted here in this uh, gold flask. So you kind of take a look at what we are what we're looking at for changes for both versions, they're just a little bit different from each other, but uh, mostly adding in the gem uh, damage changes. And then I will note that I'm assuming, I'm hoping Tempest Shield is going to get at least 15% uh, spell block. If it's any less, we probably will use something else. But as long as it's 15 or more, we're probably going to use um, Tempest Shield. So let me just show real quick. Uh, this is the SSF version we've arrived at. You can see it kind of took a little bit of a damage hit. Uh, we were right about 1.3 million with the SSF version in 315. But as a trade-off, we are ludicrously tankier. Um, I've kind of made the decision that moving forward, my SSF POBs, now that they have split into uh, different versions between SSF and trade, um, the SSF version is going to be hardcore viable. It may not be optimized for hardcore. You may want to uh, kind of wrestle with it further, but they are going to be at least hardcore viable. And to that end, I think we're getting really close with this. Um, I'm, I'm mostly happy with it. You can see, you may, you may worry a little bit about the lower ES total, but I will show that in just a second. What you'll probably notice more than anything is this is an armor and ES hybrid build. This is different from the low life version, um, but I think moving forward with the new changes to the defenses, this is going to be the way to go if you want to be uh, you know, somewhat tanky, somewhat hardcore viable, is to go that hybrid uh, route. A lot of people have been asking me why we take a staff node uh, if we are going to be using a wand and a shield and that's because this gives a little bit of a benefit with the increased armor but steel wood stance is completely broken um it gives like over 2000 armor uh and it does not require you to be wielding a staff for the portion that gives you the armor so it's kind of insane but as you can see like i said we took a small damage hit but we've gained an incredible uh, amount more defense we are fully ailment immune we are fully uh reflect immune so with this between the yugle uh, Pantheon and exposure tolerance. We are fully reflect immune. So just a lot of quality of life to add to the uh, hardcore viability of the build. Um, for damage, it's moved up to triple curses and you may see something a little weird. We actually realized Bane is probably a, well, it is. Bane is just a better curse applicator than Arcanist brand. So um, Bane is actually going to be what we're using to apply our curses. But um, yeah, I mean, we're just pretty much waiting on the tree changes for this version, but it looks really promising. There are obviously things you could do. There are defenses you could drop. For instance, if you don't care about reflect, things like that, you could get significantly higher DPS for very little effort. Um, there, there's just a lot you can do with this. So we'll see where this goes at the end, but I'm, I'm really happy with this. It's got incredibly more uh, effective health against uh, physical damage in particular, and I'm looking to get as close as we can to capping block on this when the final tree is revealed. For the low life version, um, this is just stupid. I, I don't even know how well I was like laughing in disbelief last night on stream. Um, it was kind of a crazy night overall. We had a couple hundred people in there after several raids. And just big thank you to the um, the streamers that were raiding us. It was it was kind of an insane night, and we ended up with a version that, quite frankly, is I think ludicrous um, comparative to what I was expecting. We have actually gained, <laughs> we've gained about three hundred thousand DPS from the three fifteen low life pob. Um, there, there's a lot of factors that play into that, but yeah, this is what the early kind of tree looks like. I will note for this specific version, 
I am not planning on going the armor ES hybrid. And because of that, our effective health pool against Fizz is kind of an issue like it's always been for non-hardcore versions of the build. That is the number one um, biggest issue that we have. I'm hoping we can solve that in large part through some block. But, yeah, if you want some more Fizz mitigation, you're going to have to probably think about some armor, um, maybe even just a couple of armor pieces um, that you can you know roll with some, some Fizz reduction. But aside from the Fizz reduction part, this is, I mean, better than it's ever been. Again, we're doing Triple Curse. Uh, we're using Bane as the Curse Applicator. And as a matter of fact, not only did we gain 300k DPS, we're not even anointing Tranquility. Um, because of the new Mana Reservation efficiency, uh, we're actually going to be anointing Charisma instead. And there, there are a couple versions we've been messing around with. This is kind of the, I would say, the baseline version that uses a plus one gems hunter amulet. You can get really crazy with this. Uh, we, we were messing around with the amulet, the new four anoint amulet that was previewed about an hour before I went live last night. So we played around with this quite a bit. We messed around with a tree that included... Um, this is kind of the, the amulet. We just assumed it's going to be hyper expensive. So there's some more playing around to do with that amulet. And I, I would actually say I'm pretty likely to make that as the final, like super, super high investment version. Uh, but for now, this looks really, really good to me. Uh, it, I will also note this version, well, it lost, I mean, well, we didn't really gain any fizz, uh, mitigation. Like we, we, we never really had that in the, in the build up to this point, but we are in this version, at least ailment immune as well um i'm planning on running a purity of elements which obviously is not in here i put it in the gem uh or in the flask rather i did note that you know this th these these flasks are different between the two versions so don't copy one over because uh this one has purity of elements in it but yeah we will be well we might not be um you know as good against fizz damage we will be fully ailment immune so uh that should leave you room in your pantheons and other things to work in some physical mitigation but Ultimately, I think these versions are incredibly promising. Uh, as far as what I'm working on for these and hoping to kind of improve uh, for the SSF version, it should be fairly straightforward. Um, we have a much higher effective health pool overall, but I do want to uh, go up on the energy shield just a little bit, get it just a little bit higher and add more DPS if we can. Um, like I said, I think these dual fire wheels and these dual minion wheels are like prime candidates to be kind of concatenated together. Um, merged so that there can be more ES or maybe even the new Divine Shield Keystone and things added here. So we're on the lookout for that, but we're trying to add some ES and uh, DPS to the SSF version. And for the low life, we're I'm looking to add more Chaos Res. Um, I'm not really planning on going Presence of Chayula anymore, so I want more Chaos Res. And then for the most part, we're honestly just waiting on the reveal of Energy Shield passives and the Curse Clusters. Uh, we're really leaning into Curse Effect here. We've got some ramped up Curse Effect here, and as a matter of fact, on the Rhyme Gaze, it turns out you get a crazy amount more DPS from Curse Effect applied by Bane than you do from the Vortex Enchant. So that's what we'll be doing moving forward. Uh, but yeah, this is serious DPS. I will, uh, just a couple quick things to note if you're not super used to my POBs. These are really bare bones. They only have a couple trees. They will be folded into my normal POBs, which include leveling trees, a uh, gigantic note section with colored notes and leveling gems and all of that. And one final thing to note, if you think the damage, if you're, if you're worried about the damage here, or even especially in the uh, SSF version, I never include for my for my serious uh, damage. I, I always put the POVs at serious damage, and I don't even turn on Vault Cold Snap. So, I mean, look at the damage here. You turn on Vault Cold Snap, we're talking about 5.3 mil. So, this obviously has limited uptime, but it adds a ton of uh, DPS. And uh, one quick thing I almost forgot to mention here that <laughs> I'm actually glad I looked at this. Uh, I am planning for the for the low life version. I think you're going to have the best experience with clear by adding in some new tech of the divergent uh, creeping frost as your four link in your rhyme gaze. So uh, if you if you've never seen this before, at 20% quality, uh, creeping frost, the divergent creeping frost gains an additional projectile. So that's basically just going to make your feel your clear feel twice as good. And at that point, you can just socket a uh, vault cold snap in here as that dual five link and just clear with creeping frost. So again. The versions look uh, very promising. Please stop by the stream if you're interested in seeing kind of the development of these, the development of the new Tectonic Slam build or the Lightning Arrow Storm Rain build we've been working on. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to 316 very much. I am incredibly hyped for this league. I am planning to league start in SSF and, and play in SSF. Uh, but the low life trade version looks incredibly promising. So uh, I hope to see you there. And uh, yeah, thanks in advance. I'll catch you guys. I'll have a, a video out in a couple days when we actually have more info, like the, the changes and 
um, the patch notes and all that. I'm, I may just actually take the raw footage of the patch notes night. I'm planning on updating the guide that night, and uh, that'll be out soon with kind of the finished 316 version. So with that being said, uh, I've been Shaq Central. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.